Uh, Mr Deputy Speaker, as we approach the 12-month mark of the Newman governments, uh, it's my pleasure to reflect on a few of the achievements and results delivered in the Southport electorate. Uh, and Mr Deputy Speaker, I've had an absolute ball. I love getting out on weekends uh, and meeting with constituents at listening posts and at uh, coffee shops around the electorate uh, where I set up mobile offices. Uh, it's been a, an incredible pleasure and privilege to work with many of the community groups and provide letters of support and help them raise uh, the necessary funds to get on with their work. And uh, what a great pleasure it was this week uh, to hear the announcement from the Minister for Sport uh, with the Get Going Grant announcements. And I'm so pleased that the Southport Junior Australian Football Club, uh, the Gold Coast uh, Rugby Union uh, Football Club in my electorate, the Musgrave Hills Sports Club, uh, Gold Coast Victory Athletics Club out at Griffith University, uh, the Michael Hatcher Junior Motorcycle Club and the Super F Performance Centre uh, have all been recipients of these new grants. And, uh, and I know that uh, in speaking with them this week, all of them have been absolutely delighted. Uh, Mr Deputy Speaker, just last week I held a principals forum uh, with the Education Minister, the Honourable John Paul Langbrook, uh, at Southport State High School. And there were some great contributions there from local principals. And uh, it's, incredibly, uh, it's just incredible to see the, the fantastic job that Principal um, Steve McLucky uh, is doing at uh, Southport State High School. Um, the other good news in Southport is that, uh, that uh, with community support, we've re-established the Community Consultative Committee for Law and Order. And uh, we meet regularly with local police. And of course, the police are delighted because uh, uh, over the last 12 months, we've seen a 27% increase in the number of police uh, assigned to the Southport Police Station. And so we're, we as a government are delivering on our promise of more police uh, and, uh, and delivering in terms of frontline services. Uh, Mr Deputy Speaker, um, uh, one of the sadder moments of the year, but one of the special moments of the year, was at Musgrave Hill State Primary School uh, last December, uh, when my wife and I uh, stood with our four son sons and sung for the last time uh, the school song. Uh, after some 17 years as my last, the last of our four sons graduated from that fantastic school. Uh, it was a great pleasure too last night to have my young leaders group here, uh, 25 young go-getters from the electorate, um, all committed to a mentoring program and uh, all who participated in uh, helping raise much needed funds uh, for uh, the Red Cross appeal, nearly $15,000 from a mini golf night. Uh, and also uh, this year we've seen the Southport Forum uh, established with uh, great speakers like Nigel Shamia. Uh, we've had the Treasurer there, the Honourable Tim Nichols. We've had the Minister for Tourism and Small Business and Major Events come and visit with us. Uh, we've had Chris Davis, the Assistant Minister for Health. Uh, there's just so much going on in the electorate. And uh, Mr Deputy Speaker, um, I just want to say there's absolutely Time no has stop expired. I call the member for Gregory.